We're just minutes away now from President Obama's State of the Union address. And we told you earlier in this newscast the President is, is expected to talk about the withdrawal of more troops from Afghanistan. Katie Vidal Rast is live now in our newsroom with just how many troops are coming home and reaction from some Bay Area Blue Star moms. Allie? Well, Garcia, right now there are 66,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan, but that number could be cut in half by this time next year. At the Lunty household in Dublin, the blue star flags have been up since November 2010. This is my son Patrick. Uh, he's a corpsman in the Navy. 20-year-old Patrick Lunty is based at Camp Pendleton, but will be deployed to Afghanistan next month, part of a Marine Expeditionary Force to help train medics in Afghanistan. It looks like seven months is the time that he'll be there. It Things are changing constantly, so we don't know from one day to the next. And she doesn't know if her son's deployment could be cut short. Tonight in his State of the Union speech, President Obama is expected to announce the withdrawal of 34,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan by 2014. The withdrawal of troops is quite popular in the polls. Uh, most Americans would like to see the troops come home. St. Mary's College politics professor and dean Steve Wolpert says only about 6,000 U.S. troops will come home this spring. The majority will leave from September to February next year. But that won't be the end of U.S. military involvement. For years and years, there will continue to be in what they're calling a support role. And we don't know how many troops, and we don't know exactly what their support role will be. That doesn't provide any relief for this Blue Star mom. My feeling is that there's safety in numbers. So if we're going to have our guys there, have all of our guys there. You know, if they're going to bring them home, bring them all home. I'd like them all to come home. Stop sending our troops. Get this over with. You know, it's been going on long enough. And we will have live coverage of the President's State of the Union speech starting at 6. Live in the newsroom, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Channel 2 News.